Joel and Sandy coming to you from the car. <sighs> so we're heading off to a couple's night out at the church, right? <laughs> and uh, we're always late and it's my fault. It's always my fault. <laughs> we're heading out there and we just got to the stoplight like down here down the road and stuff. And But I happened to reach down between my legs and I went, oh! <laughs> Joel goes, what? And I was like, oh, I gotta go back. And he was like, why? And I was like, look, my pants were just completely ripped in between the thighs. And I told him, I was like, oh. he goes, well, what did, did you ask me why they ripped? No. Oh, he's like, I know why they ripped. <laughs> so they were all worn and everything. I was like, oh, they finally gave out. That was a very old pair of jeans, just letting you know. And so for it to even last that long on a chubby girl like me, that was some good wear. Those were some good jeans. <laughs> I can't believe I'm admitting that <laughs> to everybody. I admit worse, right? Mm. Yeah, so it's okay. But, oh, I'm so sorry. I am. All, it's my fault. When we're late, I have to admit, it's always my fault. He was like, so much for being on time. For once. For once. <laughs> yeah, for once. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, I'm so sorry. It's just these past few days have just felt so like fast. Fast. Like everything's just moving so quickly and everything. You know, sometimes I'll write on like Facebook. Well, not sometimes, like all the time I write on Facebook. And um, these past few days, though, I have just been like, there's just been this feeling of just like boom, 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 boom. And it's like all I do is like write. Like all my thoughts are going down in there. And it has to do with, with politics, unfortunately, you know. It, it is something that we're living through. Um, and I know as a Christian, a lot of people, you know, they don't like my politics. Even the Christians, some of the Christians don't like my, uh, you know, politics of what I agree with and everything, which I find really very interesting, by the way. Um, because as Christians, I, I, you know, you would think that we would be... Have a common have a common bond and be aligned together on the policies which really and, and I'm going to be quite honest on the policies like abortion and so that really kind of it freaks me out that we're not <laughs> like oh that's like a huge one that's like one of the, the biggest it's just huge <laughs> I don't know how to I'm like Trump it's huge because you know I mean that it, we're, we're killing our life killing a life and and what I kind of really have found out though is that um, people don't want to judge because they think they think well there is a scripture that you know we're not to judge and that's not what that says I'm like where, where does that say that that it's not to judge it's it says that you need to clean your life up and then when you find when you find somebody heading down the path that's going to lead them to destruction then you're able to tell them that's not judging them that's helping them out I mean and why wouldn't you want to do that I just don't get it but instead because and this is my opinion because Christians don't want to offend other people and it all has to do with people it does have nothing to do with God Jesus it has the fact that you don't want to offend other people you won't say anything and you'll just let them lead on with sin and and with me in, in my thoughts if I vote for somebody he, who who is way 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 okay with abortion and and they want us to to pay for abortion they want us to pay for vasectomies you know you know I, I transgender changes they want us to pay for all of this then I'm culpable in that sin if I vote for that person as a Christian. Now, if you're not Christian, you know, then I'm not talking to you. Uh, it does, I mean, it will still affect you at, in the end, you know, in the end times. It's still going to affect you. Whether you believe in Christ or not, it's still going to affect you. But I'm talking to the Christians today who call themselves Christians and asking, what are your thoughts on that and why are you voting oh that you're okay for it you're really honestly saying you're okay with it and I I don't understand that you know and I hate
hate to talk about abortion because it is such a touchy subject. I'm just like everybody else. I don't want to get, sometimes I just don't want to get into the politics of it because it's a headache, to be quite honest. But you have to as a Christian because when you see your brothers and sisters going down that path that's going to lead them to destruction, you have to speak up and say, hey, let's think about this. Let's think about it. If there's one policy that Kamala Harris has that I, I just completely don't agree with, and, and, and if it was one policy that I had to vote on, it would be the abortion policy, and I would not vote for her simply for that as a Christian. And, you know, where do you stand on it, Dad? You don't want to say it either because it's a headache, huh? It's a headache to put your opinion in. What I also did here, I think though, it's wrong, but it's not ultimately it's not my choice. No, it's no, and it's ultimately, and that's why, like my opinion on abortion, it's not my choice. Um, well, it's my choice, but I mean, it's not my choice to make for everybody because everybody has free will. See, and that's the thing, whether it's on the ballot or not. I, I, quite honestly, women will have abortions. If they if they want to have an abortion, it, it, it doesn't even have to be legal. They'll have illegal abortions because that's just the way it is. That's how evil our world is, right? But to actually put it on the ballot, to actually have a policy that says that we can that that we're going to pay for it now, that their plan is for us to pay for the abortions and, and require private insurance too. Yeah, yes. Then you know, I can't. I mean, just on that, just on that, I could not vote for Kamala as a Christian. And um, there's also one thing that I didn't, um, I mean, it doesn't affect me as a Christian, um, but Trump has proposed that he wants us to pay for um, IVF. You need to stay, I'm gonna tell both Kamala and um, Trump, you need to stay out of our bedroom. It's private, and you have no business in it, and we don't have any business paying for somebody else's whatever. We really don't. I mean, and that doesn't affect me. IVF doesn't affect me, and I, I, I really do have a lot of compassion for those who want children and can't have them. But, again, I, I don't want to pay for that for you. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, it's just not going to happen. Well, it may happen. I may have no choice but to follow that, but I don't agree with that. So, you know, I mean, there's so many things, because everybody thinks, people will look at Trump and they hate Trump so much because of his character, right? I mean, tell the truth, it's his character that a lot of people don't like. They didn't like some of the stuff he said in the past about women. They don't like, you know, some of the stuff he's done with women. They don't like all the stuff, and it's mainly women who don't like him, right? But the simple fact is that a lot of your husbands are the same way and have the same thoughts. They just don't say it. And so I'm just like, well, are you going to get rid of me? Well, some people have gotten rid of their husbands. <laughs> what am I saying? So, I mean, it's just, it's so confusing to be out in this world today. I mean, I was telling somebody today that this truly is the only hope we have is in Jesus. Don't put your hope in Trump. Don't put your hope in Kamala. Yes, be a part of the process. I respect for whoever you want to vote for. And I would hope that you can respect who I want to vote for too and the reasons I want to vote for. Now, yes, I will question some of the Christians, but it's not because I want to like come down on you. It's just that I want to grab you by the hand and lead you in the right direction as a Christian. Because as a Christian, we really do have uh, you know, we, we have a manuscript, you know, that we go by, and that's called the Bible. And so it, it confuses me when we, we go off of that script. That, I mean, that we, we don't go off of it. We just, we don't follow it. When we don't follow the Bible, and, and it's not because you don't know, you just decide not to. That's when I question it. You know, because when you, some people, you know, we, we all sin every single day. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm always telling to, I'm always repenting for something every single day. But I don't do things intentionally.
but to make a choice of voting for abortion or not an abortion for commonless policies that is a clear-cut choice that you are making and that's I struggle with that when I hear people voting for it voting for Kamala just for that that one thing for abortion I just it just I I'm so confused on it and a lot of people they don't like me because of it and not just like I said not just people out in the secular world people in the church I'm sure and not I'm not I'm not necessarily saying my church but it could be I don't know but you know people in the church with the capital C you know throughout wherever you know they don't agree with me and they hate me for my thoughts and you know and um, I was telling that I was telling Joel the other day I was like why do people hate me <laughs> and he told me because you're mouthy <laughs> I was like oh yeah I guess so that that would be one of them and then I asked him again the next a few like a few days later I was like I just don't understand how come they don't like me and he goes it's because of your hair <laughs> I was like shut up you know what I can't, I can't even do it with it I can't even with you sometimes so I don't know and I know I'm just I've had a few um I've had like three or four days where to be honest I I well I'm not gonna be honest with you on this one it's kind of like my business but there's a reason why I've just been so talkative and everything and I and I told Joel I said I can't control it I'm trying to control it but I, there's like this something in me that I can't turn this switch off and I've been praying about it I couldn't even sleep last night huh I was I don't know oh I well, well he was asleep <laughs> but I was try I was so exhausted and I tried and I tried and I tried and I couldn't fall asleep so finally you know, um, Joel left for work. It was like, what, six o'clock? And um, that's finally when I went to sleep. I, you know, I put on some um, uh, biblical meditation and uh, and I told Joel, I said, wow, I tell you what, I was like, that put me to sleep. I should have done that all along, really, because I mean, you know, that's what really gives me the peace and everything that I need to move on with things. I was gonna say, nobody's there. Um, so, yeah, I just, so I apologize for my chit chat and, you know, and, um, and if you do go to my Facebook and you happen to read some of my posts and you really hate them or you have criticized the way I write and stuff, I don't blame you because sometimes I go back and I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> what did I say there? Last night I was just writing a bunch of stuff and I was like, I don't even know what I wrote. So, so there you go. Just letting you know. Did somebody drive that? No. <laughs> Did somebody drive that here? <laughs> is that what they drove here? What is that? Can I drive that? That looks like something I want to do. Anyway, guys, we're here. I hope, um, you know, I if I offended anybody, my intention is not to offend you. My intention is to understand, and maybe you don't understand. You know, I mean, the implication of what you're doing when you vote, when you vote for Kamala and she is so for abortion and, and for, you know, sex changes and for all this other stuff. I mean, really, it's, it's a big thing as a Christian. It's huge. So anyway, enough of that. I love you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a really beautiful uh, rest of your week. Maybe I'll talk to you Sunday. I don't know. And um, God bless. We'll talk to you later. Bye.